Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's get straight into it. Heads are here. Well, they're here just after I arrived. But anyway, I gave them a quick coat of black. And also, my camshaft. It's just sitting here. So, first things first. Gonna pull the motor across into this area here. It's nice and near all my tools and everything. And then, we're gonna get the cam in, we're gonna dial the cam in. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video today just and dial my cam or I'll do it with the heads on. Um, I'll probably do it dial my cam in, checking the PTV. That'll be the one video. And then next week's video, bolt the heads on, uh, bolt the intake manifold on, you know, rockers, lifters, you know, all that fun stuff. So, gotta do all that. So I think today, today's video will just be getting the cam in, dialed, everything. So I'm gonna pull that motor off, pull the, um, alternator off and whatnot and we're going to get straight into it so uh the magic of youtube you guys will see it all set up ready to go all right so first thing says we get the can out the box uh, i'm going to whack some gloves on because i'm going to be putting some assembly lube all over it and just save me from having to wipe my hands clean 10 million times all right <coughs> cut them on so this is my custom cam uh, made by Crow. They were ordered through Nathan Kyrie. Um, if you guys can see that there, Kyrie Turbo 3. And this here is the beautiful bad boy. So now I'm going to quickly film a bit that I can use to uh, take a thumbnail. Alright, so here's the camshaft. This is the back end. It gets fed through the back. This is the front. This is where the gear goes on, gets fed through. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, put some assembly lube on it and then we'll feed her in. It does have some oil on it already, but I'm just gonna put my assembly lube on it just so it's safe. So, ah, it's gonna roll. This stuff here is very thick. If I can get the lid off. This stuff here is very thick and it does the job nicely. Just a small dab on everything. So Now that that's all covered, get to place it in. Now as you see, I've only done the first two bits because once this is sitting in, I'll put it over the rest just so that this glove can stay clean for now. So then you just simply just slide it in. Be careful not to damage the bearing. as it takes a bit of maneuvering. So there we go, we got it to there. Put that there. Put that cap on. So, uh, remove this glove. Now this bit can be tricky if you don't have a, a long bolt to put in there. Um, I might just go grab the cam bolt. It comes in handy. It's just something a little bit extra to hold there we 
we go. Cam is in there. put a retaining plate on got the fresh one got the bolts got everything I'm gonna whack a small bit of oil just around there just because don't need to but I'm just going to I just whack a small bit of Loctite on. I'm gonna just put a dab of blue on these. Here's a T30 Torx bit, and you want to tighten them to uh, 12 to 19 newton meters. So, for starters, what have we got this set up? on with this in slowly there we go see the foam to make sure all right so that's the camshaft retainer in Up. 
just have the little keyway piece for the camshaft. Alright, then you want to get your timing chain. I've got a double row timing chain from Roller Master. Here it has everything we need. Now, if I just slide this on like that, that should be at zero. All right, so I found my cam button. Goes in the back. Here, there's a little recess. I had to complete mine blank because I've been running around trying to find good cam button and bolts these and another plate and whatnot that I messaged Cornfed Boost for a bit of an inside tip and he said take a photo of my back and I turned it around and bang on there it was so thank you to Cornfed Boost for jogging my memory and reminding me of how to actually fucking put one of these motors together again but anyway so that's that uh, how you initially line it up is um, there's a dot here facing down so what I did is I just put this cam gear on and then turn the cam around to it's basically pointing straight down then let me attach this off. and without absolutely destroying everything as you can see on here uh, you can see on these slots let's get away from the light as you, on these slots there's numbers to advance and retard it. And then at the very top here, by right there, you can see numbers as well. So zero is slightly off from that zero there. So when you line the dot up, you actually line it up with the zero that's on the little spoke, not on this little groove. So essentially, when that does slide on, these are an absolute prick. I'll rotate the crank to suit that dot to dot. Then we'll, um, what do you call it? Then we'll time it. See how that reads out and we'll go from there. So let's get all that on and we'll crack on with it.
Okay, there we go. That's all on, that's dialed in, dot to dot. Uh, now I need to start to set up to um, check out it's all dialed in. So I'll get all that set up and then we'll crack on with it. All right, all set up now to find top dead center. Got my tool here, uh, which I just need to adjust and whatnot. But, uh, And there, so then I can find out exactly where top dead center is and then uh, we'll set it up so that it is anyway. So for now, So that needs to go to 14.
All right, I've got you guys up close and personal. Now I'm just gonna show you that it is that top dead center. So this plate here stops the piston, the exact same point on either stroke. So as you can see when it goes around this way, it stops at 14 degrees past top dead center. And if you go the other way, it stops there at 14 uh, degrees before top dead center. So now I have a way of knowing exactly what top dead center is. So I can take all this off, turn this to this lines up with TDC, and then we can start to dial the cam in. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that that's already, now we can turn this. To top dead center, which is right there. There you go. All right. Let's see if I get this correct. So at top dead center now I need to find uh, so the intake lifter on this one is the second one it goes exhaust intake exhaust intake exhaust intake so I need to find where make sure it's even running on the low Alright, oh, it's got to zero. Now we need to get 
readings when it hits 50. So turn that round, 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 round. Oh, a little bit faster. Right there. And my pointer is on one one fifty one point five. So I'll write that down. Now I need to go the other way. Too far again. There we go. And then this one is at 62.5. So I'll do some maths. So that is 214 and you want to divide that by two, which would be 107. The number I'm looking for is 111, so. All right, so I measured everything twice, just to be sure. You can see my two measurements there, 62.5. 151.5 exact same which means I need to take these off and then this one here will go to plus four down there so this plus four bit will end up on there and then redo it and we should get the same uh, well we should get 111 on the intake center line so I'm going to do that off camera you guys don't see all that crap this is an absolute prick to take off but anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, we'll get back once it's all pushed back in and we're checking the specs. <coughs> okay, so once again, <coughs> I got it all in. I got it on negative two on the, um, the crank pulley. So let's go ahead and see how this dials in with this. Remember we're looking for 111 intake center line. So, just gonna move this around till we see that go around. So, it's going around, going around. One more. And, yeah, it wants to stop, it didn't move. So now we've got to go to, I've uh, got to move the crank around, which is obviously attached to the cam by this, until that goes to 50 foul. So, get that around. Give it a couple of taps, that was too much. You always want to go back too far and then hit it again just so it gets the tension out of the timing chain. So 
so you get an accurate reading out there which on here is 155 so get our crappy bit of cardboard all the bad results for 155 then we want to take it the other direction same thing until it gets to 50 foul so give it a couple of taps and that's pretty much bang on there which this lines up with 66 so I can go 6 6 do some quick maths 11 that's 12 and that's 2 and then you want to divide this number here by 2 since there's 2 of that so uh, 221 divided by 2 equals 110.5 and remember we wanted 111 so that's close enough um, that 0.5 could just be because of how I got the um, top dead center this might be slightly off that's close enough so I'm happy with that so now I'm going to uh, tighten this up nicely and then start to finish putting the timing cover on you know get that gasket on everything else around it and we can start to check for uh, pissing the bell clearance so I'm gonna get all that done if you're still here it's gonna be the end of this video that is how I dial in a crank, ah, oh, sorry, a camshaft. Um, yeah, next video, slap the heads on, check the PTV. I'm pretty sure, unless I edit this and it's too short, then I'll do a PTV shit in this. But anyway, as per usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.